Now someone on Twitter posted a tweet with a screenshot of a Daily Express article which said and I quote the Prince William and Princess Kim Milton to take America by storm with popularity set to soar. My family, that was the Daily Express article. And my family, I have some words to say about this, my family. My family, instead of William and Kim Milton focusing on their so-called popularity in the UK, which clearly is so, so low, they're more focused on getting some popularity in the US. My family, you know, every time I see something like this, I am reminded of what Harry said in his memoir about exactly just who Prince William truly is, of what William's priorities are. My family, here is what Harry said. And I quote, It was all so obvious. William cared less about finding his purpose or passion than about winning his lifelong competition with me. My family, every time I see this stuff, clearly my family, Harry was 100% right. The only thing William cares about is winning this lifelong competition he has against Prince Harry. My family, why can't he focus on trying to get the tabloids even to just focus on him? Because even in the UK, the tabloids are mostly focused on Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan were chased out, hounded out of the UK. My family, partly because William and Kim Milton were jealous about Harry and Meghan's popularity. Because Harry and Meghan were way more popular, are way more popular than William and Kim Milton. And because of that, they leaked negative stories with the hopes of diminishing Harry and Meghan's popularity. But my family, even despite Harry and Meghan fleeing from the UK, in the UK, the main topic of conversation is still Harry and Meghan. My family, one of the things that Megan said in the Harry and Megan documentary, she said that because of the jealousy of senior members of the royal family, at seeing Megan always on the front pages, which got senior members of the royal family so jealous from Charles to Kate to William to Camilla. My family, because of that jealousy, Megan said that, hey, look, my husband and I, we are going to leave. And when we leave, you can get all the front pages exactly as you want it, my family. That's what Megan told senior members of the royal family. That they can get all the front pages exactly as they want it. And part of the reason, first of all, they moved to Canada is because in Canada, the park of the Royal Rota are not based in Canada. The Royal Rota, my family, are the ones who cover members of the Royal Family. And Megan said, the pack of the rotor are not based 
in Canada. So that is where they went, first of all, before moving to the US. Where also the park or the Rorota are not based. But regardless of what Megan said, still, Megan and Harry always are in the front pages of UK tablets three years after they fled the UK. So my family, Megan was wrong. Wrong in thinking that when they left, when they fled the UK, that somehow, some way, the UK tabloids would focus on the taxpayer-funded members of the royal family in the UK. Instead, they were more focused on trying to punish Harry and Meghan for daring to step back as senior members of the royal family. For daring to even follow exactly what the tabloids were saying. What people like Piers Morgan were saying when Piers Morgan said, and I quote, in an article that he wrote that Meghan should go back to America. An article that is still very much online. An article full of xenophobia towards Meghan. And my family, despite Meghan fleeing from the UK and going back to America, still, the tabloids were angry because they only thought it will only be Meghan, not Harry, whom they think they own. They only thought that Meghan would leave. Even Harry said it, my family. He said they thought Meghan would leave because of how they were abusing her. They never thought that Harry would go with her. But my family, Harry loves Meghan. Harry loves his wife, the mother of his kids, and will always protect his wife. He'll always rush back home to his wife and kids exactly where Harry belongs. And time and time again, Harry has shown that his loyalty is with his wife Meghan and kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibetana. His number of priority is protecting his family. And Harry has shown that time and time again. Every single time my family. So my family, Harry, left with Meghan. And to this day, they keep trying to get Harry back. Even trying to get Harry back by force. By trying to get Harry deported from the US. My family, Daily Mail even wanted for border officials not to let Harry in into the US. But guess what? Harry is back home in the US. Next to his wife, Megan, and kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana, where he belongs. To my family, every time they do something evil to Harry, it just never works. Harry and Meghan keep on thriving time and time again. And people love Prince Harry. People adore Prince Harry and Meghan. And my family, they have a high, high level of popularity. People are interested in Harry and Meghan. In stories about Harry and Meghan. No wonder, even GB Propaganda News, they, they can't even go a day without someone having a segment attacking Harry and Meghan. And yet, they have taxpayer-funded royals they can focus on in the UK. Instead, they choose to ignore the others and focus on Harry and Meghan who live in California, in Montecito, with his wife Meghan and kids Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. You know, just a few days ago, this carnival of so-called expert, Julia Hadley Brewer, from Talk TV, she said, and I quote, that they just can't talk about Kate's dresses. And she said, if Harry and Meghan don't talk about, you know, the royal family, what else are they going to talk about? What else are they going to talk about? 
they lose money. And that's why my family, they just can't let go of Harry and Meghan, even to this day. Three years after they fled from the UK, still, Harry and Meghan end up on the front pages of UK tabloids. Tabloids that they have a zero in given policy with tabloid like Daily Mail, Express, the Sun tabloid, the Mirror, my family, which most of these tabloids, Harry is suing. But still they're like, Harry, come back, come back to us. They can't accept the rejection. And they can't focus on William. The only time they mention William is when somehow they're attacking Harry. The only time they mention Kim Milton is when they're attacking Meghan. That is normally what happens. Even the trolls who claim to support Kate and William, they're way more focused and fully invested on Harry and Meghan than they are on William and Kim Milton, whom they claim to support. And my family, I want to show you something, my family, that I saw. You know, a clip of what happened after Prince William and Kim Milton attended a, Bo a Boston Celtics game when they were in Boston, in the USA. The reaction from players, where you're having some carnival or so-called experts, reporters asking, hey, how do you feel to play next to royalty? My family, I want you to hear their reaction. That is what I want you to hear about William and Kim Milton. My family, please kindly just hear what they said. Mary. Did you get a chance to meet with the royal family? And if not, how was it like having them there in the building? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? <laughs> the Prince and Princess of Wales. Oh, no, I did not. I'm only familiar with one royal family. I don't know too much about that one. Thank you. My family. But I'm glad they're hopefully a chance to meet with the royal family. And if not, how was it like having them there in the building? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? <laughs> the Prince and Princess of Wales. Oh, no, I did not. I'm only familiar with one royal family. I don't know too much about that one. Thank you. But I'm glad they're hopefully they're Celtic fans. <laughs> Thank you. My family, you've had that. You know, you've had that. From a smart basketball player the only royal family he is familiar with is Jesus Christ my family that's who he is familiar with not Prince William and Kim Milton <laughs> when a reporter is asking how did you feel today to play next to royalty <laughs> Some people just don't care. Don't care about William and Kim Milton. Not one bit. And William should focus on the UK. Because my family, clearly, he needs it. UK media, keep focusing on Harry and Meghan. Even right now, King Charles has a birthday parade just next week my family in a few days and the main topic of conversation is whether prince harry is coming just like what happened on king charles coronation the main question was are harry and Meghan coming are they gonna attend that was the main question it even reached a point whereby you had some threats. Right now, Harry should tell us if he's coming or not. Immediately, right now. And yet, and yet my family, 
you had other members of different, you know, royal families from across the world. You had prime ministers coming to King Charles' coronation. But yet, the main person who everyone wanted to know, is no prime ministers who are coming, or first ladies who are coming, the main person who everyone was asking whether or not they are coming is Harry and Meghan. So, my family, William should focus on popularity in the UK because at this moment, no matter how much the polls lie to him, it's so, so low. So, so low. The tablets aren't talking about him. They're more focused on going after Harry and Meghan. As they have been for the past seven years, they're more focused on Harry and Meghan to this day. You know? So, my family, William, should be more focused and worried and concerned about that. You know? Because in America, he ain't getting anything. Not him. Not him. Not him. Not Kim Hilton. They ain't getting nothing. Prince Harry and Meghan are the ones who are popular. Very, very popular. And it's something that will always anger and piss off Prince William. Who wants to win this lifelong competition he has? Competition he has against Prince Harry. And yet, Harry always wins. My family, you know, William wants to win this competition by destroying Harry, by destroying his marriage, by ensuring his brother is miserable and unhappy. That is what William wants to achieve. But he won't succeed. He won't achieve that and he will not succeed. Please kindly also hear what one other basketball player said when asked how does it feel to play next to royalty? <laughs> Once again, people don't care about William Hamilton, much less Americans. And it's important to understand that. Um, I know you guys have played in front of a lot of celebrities, but what was it like to compete in front of royalty tonight? The Prince and Princess of Wales were in the building. Um, it was just a regular game to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you guys have played in front of a lot of celebrities, but what was it like to compete in front of royalty tonight? The Prince and Princess of Wales were in the building. Um, it was just a regular game to me. <laughs> it was just a regular game to me. <laughs> and also, on top of that, it was reported that William and Kim Milton were booed while attending Boston Celtics game. <laughs> People just don't care about William and Kim Milton. So my family... They should focus on the priority, which clearly is so low in the UK, and just leave America alone. You know, try and getting try, try to get priority where you are staying, where you are in the UK. Leave America alone. You ain't getting that, William. You ain't getting that, Kimilton. Harry and Meghan are the ones who are so popular in the U.S. and around the world, and they are loved globally. And William and Kim Hilton will never ever match up to Harry and Meghan's global popularity. And that's something that will eat William for the rest of his life. That Harry has won this lifelong competition that William has had against Harry. That Harry has won even without competing. Even without trying to compete, Harry always wins. And that's something 
that will hurt William each and every single day of his life. And you can believe that, my family. You can believe that. You know? Now, my family, can you please tell me your thoughts about, you know, what you're seeing right now? Instead of William focusing on his low priority in the UK, he's trying to conquer US. Just as Harry said about Prince William, he said the truth about him. My family, William has no purpose in life. You know, just as Harry said, William has no purpose whatsoever in life. As Harry said, and I quote, it was all so obvious. William cared less about finding his purpose or passion than about winning his lifelong competition with me. And I wonder, William has set his sights onto America. We've had so much things, so many things about William. For instance, that he wanted from a cottage. The person has like four homes, but he inquired about from a cottage. He wants Harry to know whatever he has, he can take. You know? And when William was told that the optics are bad, you just can't take from a cottage, he backed down. Instead, then he said that, hey, look, I want Royal Lodge. Belonging to Andrew. Andrew can move to Fomo Cottage and Harry gets removed out of Fomo Cottage. The guy will be having five homes. Five homes. Five homes. My family. Five homes. You know? You know, William, you can have all that. But one thing you'll never ever have is what Harry and Meghan have for each other. True, unconditional love. That's what you'll never ever have, William. What Harry and Meghan have. True, unconditional love. William, you'll never have that. You'll never ever have you know, the guts that Harry has to take on UK tabloids. Harry someone who's brave. Someone who served in Afghanistan for the better part of a decade. William, you'll never ever be able to achieve a fraction of what Harry has achieved. Harry founded the In Victors Games. Helped so many veterans. William, you won't be able to do a fraction. Achieve a fraction of what Harry has been able to achieve. Harry has won this lifelong competition even without trying. So William, focus on your low popularity in the UK. Beg the tabloids to just focus on you. To put you on their front pages. To focus on you. Because clearly, they ain't doing that. They're more focused on Harry, who lives in the U.S., has been living in the U.S. for three years now. They're more focused on Harry. And clearly, that's something that will always itch Prince William, my family. He will never ever be the man, the husband, the father that Harry truly is. He will never ever experience the love, get the, that love, the unconditional love that Harry and Meghan have for each other, William will never ever have that. And that, my family, is something that William will live with for the rest of his life. Harry won this competition without even trying. Now, my family, can you tell me what you think about what we've just discussed kindly? i like to please kindly hear your opinion, my family. He never wins. Love wins. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to this video. Love you. Who is that forever? Harry and Meghan are the most popular members of the royal family in the entire world. Harry and Meghan are widely known. And William's hit campaign has made a campaign against Harry and Meghan. 
has not destroyed Harry and Meghan's global popularity. Instead, people love and support Harry and Meghan. William also will have to live with that for as long as he lives. He'll never succeed in destroying his brother. Never. Stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video, my family. God bless you all. So what do you think about William being obsessed with trying to get popularity in the US instead of focusing on the UK? I'd like to kindly please hear your opinion on that, my family. Stay tuned to this video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.